Hey guys, Sakpasi, welcome back to Eileen Vibe Cooking. Today's video, I am going to show you guys how to make piti me. Now, I'm not sure how to say it in English. If you do, let me know down below because I don't know how to say piti me in English. So, we're going to get started. Before we do, make sure you subscribe and like the video and also comment down below what should I cook next. Let's begin. I am going to wash my beans. I am using black beans for this recipe. Now after you wash your beans, you're going to add your water. I am using about four cups of water. And next I am going to use about half a teaspoon of baking powder. This trick will basically make your beans cook faster. You know how it's kind of hard to uh, cook so this will basically make the beans soften a little and make it cook faster or you can soak it overnight which I normally do but I didn't do it this time so after about maybe 45 minutes this is how the water look like I am about to add one can of coconut milk and we're going to add some more water because the bean is not fully cooked yet and also you need your coconut to cook because raw coconut can definitely ruin your stomach it's it's really hard to digest in your stomach so make sure you cook it really good so i'm gonna show you guys um right now as you guys can see the beans they're not done cooking yet so it needs to boil for a little bit more so the beans can you know look cook and just like that <laughs> just like that it's cooked right now this is about an hour to an hour and a half i hate boiling beans because it takes forever i believe it's one hour so this is the pizza me how it looks like if you're not familiar like i said with pizza me um in Haiti, I know they clean it by hands and stuff. Usually there's little, you know, I don't know, little stuff that you need to clean out out of it. So make sure you clean your pizza meat before you cook it. My mom already cleaned it for me. So I'm basically showing you guys how it looks. Basically picking little things that's in there. So you have to be very careful when cleaning pizza meat, especially when they're from Haiti. So now, we're about to get cooking, you guys. Um, this is my pan. I am going to add about four tablespoons of um, oil in there. It doesn't matter what kind of oil you're using. For this type of recipe I'm using, I believe it's vegetable oil. So yeah, we're going to use four tablespoons. Next, this is my A piece. I do have a video. Make sure you check the link down below. A very detailed video how to make A piece. I have two kinds of um, A piece video. Make sure you check it out. So we're going to add it in our oil to fry it because I like to cook my A piece. Definitely have to cook it. Next, I am going to add my beans. Make sure you take your beans out of the water and add it in the oil. We're going to fry it for about, I don't know, three to five minutes. I like it to be kind of fry. I don't know, it just give it a really good flavor. So I like to kind of fry it for about two to five minutes. And also guys, make sure you guys subscribe and I will film this video in Creole because I have a lot of requests. People ask me to speak Creole. I will do a video in Creole. Also, just the same video, but it will be in a different language. Creole. So we're going to add the water back in there. And we're going to add one scotch bonnet. I poke some cloves in there and I, I add it in there and also I'm using some parsley next I am going to add about half a teaspoon I believe of oh not yet <laughs> I'm using some Maggie one cube of Maggie 
the Maggie's always um, optional. You don't have to use Maggie. And now I am using the half a teaspoon of black ground pepper and also half a teaspoon of salt. And also taste it for salt as you go. Okay, we're going to cook, cover it halfway because it's going to boil all the way up. So don't cover it all the way. Now, this is a pity me. I am going to wash it. Now, there is a dilemma right here. I already filmed that part, but I didn't really record it. That was a mistake of mine, but I'm going to show you guys how I did it. I basically um, pour the pity me, add your water, and what you do, you're going to take your pity me and scrub it in your hand. Basically, I know some people are probably going to say you're removing the nutrient out of the pity me. Not really because I'm, I'm just trying to wash it enough, you know, because I've seen how they clean and make PT me in Haiti I like mine to be super clean so I am going to wash it about four times I believe I am just going to add water scrub it pour the water out and add more water until basically the water is clear okay we're going to do it for a couple times like I said, this video is very detailed just in case someone is super curious to know every little step. Let me know down below if you guys like longer videos like this one because I feel like some people do like it. Some people might don't, you know, agree with the longer video. So this is how it looks. I already added it in the water so because my water was boiling all the way up so i added the pt me in there so this is how it looked now when you cooking pt me it's like cornmeal but it's harder than corn cornmeal so what i'm going to do i am going to cook it on low very low heat because you want it to cook slow so i am going to stir it make sure i don't have any clumps and we're going to let it cook on super duper low heat okay okay this is about a few minutes later maybe 10 minutes later this is how it looks it's cooking very low I am going to cover it halfway and just let it do its thing let it cook basically okay this is how it looks it's about maybe 20 minutes later I am going to um, stir it after that what am I going to do next I guess I'm going to keep stirring it and also make sure you taste it for salt at this point because you're going to cover it and let it do its final cooking. So make sure you taste it uh, to your liking. T taste the salt to your liking and yeah. So I am going to basically whisk my pity me. It's like my moulin. So I am going to whisk it. Not whisk, basically stir it for about five to seven minutes because that will give basically you want the beans to kind of mash a little in the pizza me so yeah i stir it for a good while and you can also put it on the floor or somewhere steady instead of doing it on your stove which is a really bad idea Okay, at this point, this is how it looks. It looks halfway cooked, as you guys can see. I am going to use a foil. I love covering my food with foil because all the steam will stay in one place and actually cook 
the food so I am going to make sure I seal the corners really well so no air you know no way for air to come out and I am going to cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes or 20 minutes so this is how it looks we're going to basically stir it again because as you guys can see the steam still on top of it so I basically stir it and this is how the pizza meal look you guys it's really really good it tastes like my moulin but I love my moulin better than pizza me so that's just me and I eat it with chicken it tastes really good let me know down below if you ever eat pizza me before like the video comment down below what you want me to cook next I'll see you guys on my next one bye